Hello guys, my name is Adam Leonardo Camp and in this video I am going to establish a new series on the introduction to mechanics by Daniel Kleppner and Robert Konenko. I personally feel that this book has you know much more elaboration than any other book in little bit advanced than basics. You know if you are in 12th or 11th and 12th you study S.C. Burma and different other books okay but you know to understand really physics what is the physics what is the role of physics and how do we actually mathematically try to see a system which so far we cannot do experiments with it and we cannot you know if if you want to go in a space and uh, do all this kind of stuff we do we do whatever we want to do first of all in pen and paper the again question is that how can we do it you know the basic level of physics is good to have some understanding it is amazing to you know feel it and uh, what is uh, the world around us but if you want to become a very serious physicist and if you have some kind of a very amazing understanding of you have the perception okay fine i want to be a scientist or i want to be a great in physics during my time i was not able to you know, grasp the clapton and Kolenko too much and uh, you know, in YouTube, frankly, I say that uh, there is a little bit courses on MIT, MIT Open Course, where, where they teach Kleppner and but I don't find it, you know, for us, for these Indian guys and for other guys or for other, you know, we don't have any too much genius kind of capacity to understand physics, then it is kind of a difficult one. And also to understand the language of Kleppner and Kolenko is kind of a difficult one. So what I am planning to do is that establish a goddamn series on Kleppner and Kolenko. What it is, why do, you, why do we want to study these kind of whole mathematics? What is this Kleppner and Kolenko saying it? And you know, people around the world or around the globe, around India will suggest to so many books and so on and so But I personally feel that this book, you know, this book, if you want to really, if you want to really do research in physics, you must go through this book. This book is written just amazingly. You know, it has fluid structure. All the mathematical, all the mathematical reasoning, mathematical steps are beautifully shown here, and you know you will feel it. Wow! At the time when I was studying that, I didn't feel that. Why do we want to study? But as later on I grew up, I grown, and my knowledge expanded, then I realized that yeah, it is needed to study. And you know how full we were then when we didn't get anyone in our college or in our school to really make us feel in this way, in this beautiful way to actually grasp the beauty of you know these much advanced books so that is my planning maybe if you will like it maybe you would you won't like it so if you will like it just jump to i will give you the disc in description you will see that there are there will be some kind of a timing and with timing there will be a there will be some sections okay so what you can do is that you can see simply you know start my murmuring and all this to be talk and you simply jump on the section and so on Beside it, I will going to explain so many things here also by using the book. It is not like I will set this book apart and I am not going to tell you that, okay, you studied this from the book. I am going to study this book in front of you. So this is kind of a different one. It is not like classroom type. It is like a friendly type. Okay, fine. What I am thinking about this, you know, about this line, what I am thinking about this definition or this... Uh, mathematical steps and so on so i frankly i am not going to say that i have i have i have understood everything whatever i understand it doesn't matter whatever what you understand from this video is the important part and what and this is the and this is where i want to hit my hammer you know no matter how genius you are or no matter how good your teacher is it's always depend on the student that is he understand is he or she is understanding or not so my goal is this one and also i want to say that say this that you have we have a lot of frustration while we were actually developing these ideas and we wanted to grasp these ideas but you know i want to say this kind of frustration with two because maybe there are too many mathematics which we didn't understand and which i don't even i don't understand now so that is why i am adapting this kind of uh, you know method to read in front of you to share the frustration that yeah this is pathetic okay i didn't understand what is this she is saying maybe i will repeat it two times so i think if you will enjoy it 
I don't know if you will enjoy it or not or myself I don't know I will enjoy it or not but you know people these days the online stuff they want everything quickly and in a precise manner but my videos are not going to be quickly and precise because they are actually showing you the whole goddamn processes so I think I don't know how it will be so I will use some foul languages also red of the final shit I don't understand it and so on so I will share this first lesson also so the thing the main idea is here that it's not the language and it's not a thing the main idea is that we want to understand something and you know how uh, how what is the so what is the mindset of some student when they are learning something okay and when you are trying to learn something which is new which is you know you don't have any idea about it it always always feel like you know it is you know it is it is uh, it's way above my pay grade okay it is way above my shitty life and so on so for the sense you know so that's why that's what i want to make that yeah if i am understanding let's understand with you why not so the many time i read this book and this book is amazing you know it opens my uh, ideas it uh, it actually elaborate my ideas expand my ideas in a more depth that is what classical mechanics do you know some people say that yeah, we have quantum mechanics we have cosmological equation we have general relativity and we have different different quantum field theory and so on then why do we study classical mechanics it is a 500 year old subject who nobody wants to study it you know for whole physics, no matter where you want to study, what you want to study, it always boils down to classical mechanics. You know, we got idea of spin in uh, quantum mechanics from the classical mechanics. We idea, we get the idea of waves from classical mechanics. We get the very concrete picture of particles from classical mechanics. You know, what happens in the solids? You know, how these uh, atoms or molecules are interacting. We also are getting ideas from this classical mechanics. So, to understand either cosmology, quantum field theory, condensed matter physics or any part of the physics, classical mechanics is the boss, my dear. It is the beginning. It is everything. You want or not, if your classical mechanics is not very well, I think you want to suffer very badly. Okay, you will never produce an amazing idea because the concept of motion, concept of angular momentum, concept of vectors, kinematics, dynamics everything starts from here and if you are not understanding those things and again it is not just part of the understanding you have to again visualize it and if you are done with visualization then the another part is called mathematics part okay in mathematics part how you gonna take your visualization and write mathematical equations on that visualization so it is more important okay and also you have to put some questions like okay if you are doing this uh, like a uh, angular momentum why vectors are like that if i am taking the projection of some vector in some spaces what will happen okay if i am doing some vector product what is the meaning of it because you know the vector product is important not because in classical mechanics because we have only dot product and scalar product when you translate these kind of scenarios in quantum mechanics it will become like okay drug indices and also we have got inner product, we got uh, uh, tensor product means outer products. So the thing is that how those translation happens and so on and so forth. Yeah, so these kind of commentary we will do here. Okay, also we will do here and also we try to understand that's why we want to understand classical mechanics or the mechanics. So the plugging of equation is not important. We have to understand the whole basic feature of it. That why classical mechanics is important. So Mary Hui was the Bakwas, Hana. So Hamlo Kya Karenge. Basically, Hamlo Hindi me bat karenge sometimes, and sometimes we will talk about we talk in English. So it is not too much uh, you know, be like why you are always commentary in English. You know? And also my commentary is really terrible. So you don't I, I know you cannot appreciate it, but if you just simply stick with around my uh, videos and you will subscribe it, maybe it will help you. I don't know. It will help me also and I think it will help you. But the thing is that the goal is and the bottom line is you have to stick around. <laughs> so let's get started with classical mechanics and what is, is this book offering? First of all, let's see what are the contents.